All right, everybody, welcome back to the office. And I got a pretty good question today, which is all about uh, loss and uh, hopefully what not to do. So this should be pretty good. So this was from uh, Garkon 2020 and Garkon states, uh, he says, Rob, in the day show, you spoke of KuCoin's loss of a major amount of crypto. Yeah, $150 million. That's a that's a that's quite a sum, I will tell you. He states, uh, he or she states, I am less than a year in and made an error in how I stored my coin and had three and a half Bitcoin stolen when someone was able to access my seeds. So that sucks. Imagine going to bed and then waking up and you're like, wow, I just lost, you know, $30,000, $35,000. I just like that. That's a bummer. And uh, he states, in all transparency, I learned to never store the seed words in a file on my phone. When I upgraded and backed up my Apple to transfer all the data, it was within days of this action when my hard wallet had been completely raped of all my Bitcoin. I went to the police and they certainly can't help, but what do I need to do? Can it be reported? Am I just SOL? Can I even take it as a loss? I'd like to hear your thoughts. And uh, so here's my thoughts. Uh, first of all, it sucks. I'm really sorry that happened. Uh, there's nothing worse than you know getting screwed out of your money, uh, whether that be from, from your fault or from someone else's fault. Regardless, irregardless, uh, it still sucks. So first thing is, I'm glad you learned that uh, don't do that. So when, uh, when Garkon here is talking about uh, taking uh, uh, screenshots or putting them to his phone, what he probably did was when he wrote down those mnemonic phrases for his nano ledger or for you know whatever kind of wallet that he had, he probably stored it in his phone in some way, shape, or form, either as a note, either as a picture, or something like that. So don't do that. Anything connected to your phone can be hacked very simply, very easily by anybody who wants it. I try to keep everything offline as much as possible. That's why I used that Shield Folio book or Stone book. There's a link in the description. You can check it out. That's where I store all my seed phrases. And actually, uh, someone said they had a great idea. They have a backup of that book. They bought two of those books, and they said one is in my one is in my safe, and one is at home for easy access. And I was like, "It's a pretty good idea. Actually, I should, I should probably do that." So, uh, don't store anything on your phone. That is a big thing. So, the next question is like, "Well, am I SOL, uh, and can I at least claim it as a loss?" Well, first of all, uh, to answer the first question, yes, uh, you're SOL. Sorry, and that's the problem with decentralization, uh, cryptocurrency, digital assets, is being your own bank means it really comes down to you. And there's the positives and there's the negatives. And this is one of those negatives about being your own bank. You gotta be careful and uh, that's just how it goes. On the other side though, the question is, what well, can I claim it as a loss? And that is a great question. And because I'm not a CPA, nor do I play one on TV, I reach out to my friend, uh, Sheehan Ch Chandra Sakara. And you don't know Sheehan, he writes for a bunch of different publications, uh, Cointelegraph and all those different big ones. And uh, he's my, he's my go-to guy when I don't have the answers. And I sent him a message on Twitter. I said, hey, man, uh, I got a question from a subscriber. I believe the answer is that he can take the losses, because what I thought, but wanted a second penny. Here's the message. I told him what it was. He goes, yeah. He goes, I actually answered this in a post, so go read that, so, which is, you know, good. He doesn't have to deal with me and my nonsense of, you know, going through the whole thing. So the post that he wrote was on August 7th, 2020, so very recently. And he breaks it down. He says, hey, what's a theft loss? Well, according to the IRS, a theft is the taking and removal of money or property within the intent to deprive the owner of it. Since crypto are treated as property uh, for the IRS, a lack of crypto due to scams or an exchange hack meets the IRS theft loss criteria. So you're thinking, great, this is fantastic. But wait, there's more. Because it's never simple because the IRS, right? Uh, first of all, sending crypto to an incorrect address or may placing your private keys by your private keys by mistake it is not theft. So if you screw up and you just lose your, your private keys, it gets burned, it gets wet, it just goes away, you lose it, that's not theft. That's on you and uh, <clears throat> sorry, that's, that's just how it goes. So the amount of loss eligible for the deduction is the difference between the fair market value at the time of the loss versus the fair market value after the loss. For example, if you sent uh, half a Bitcoin to the Twitter Bitcoin scammer, at the time you sent it, it was worth 5,000. Your theft loss for tax purposes is $5,000. Now the deductibility, having a personal theft loss does not necessarily mean you can deduct it on your tax forms to get a tax benefit. Well, then that suck. So you're like, well, great. Well, at least I can you know, claim it as a loss, which is fantastic, but no. Uh, prior to January 1st, 2018, personal theft losses were deductible on your tax forms. 
Uh, Form 4684, Schedule A. No idea what that is, sure. As a result of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, TCJA, which I think was just passed recently, between January 1st, 2018 and December 31st, 2025, you can only deduct theft losses attributed to federally declared disaster areas. So if you're living in a disaster area, sure. Good chances, though, might not have been. Unfortunately, crypto scams incurred on your uh, personal crypto accounts during this period are not deductible on your tax forms. Let me read that again. Unfortunately, crypto scams incurred on your personal crypto accounts during this period are not deductible, personal. So uh, if it's just you, you have no small business, uh, you're, you really are SOL, and that's the bummer. So losing the tax write-off may not be detrimental. The tax code only allows you to write off a portion of your theft loss as opposed to the full amount. To arrive at the deductible amount, $100 plus 10% of your adjusted gross income is subtracting from your full theft loss. For example, if Mary has $5,000 and she loses it, but her uh, uh, adjusted gross income is $100,000, uh, her deductible loss would be $3,900, which is $5,000 minus $100,000 uh, $100, minus 10%. Very boring stuff. If, if you're kind of like lost, don't worry. Just give it to your CPA and they'll figure it out. So really what it comes down to is this. Uh, personal losses, you're still SOL. Sorry. Uh, but if you have a business, uh, business theft losses are still deductible. So for example, if a crypto mining company, which runs as a trader business, loses coins to scammers, they will be able to deduct that loss on their business tax return. So Really, you'd have to say like why you are using cryptocurrency in your business, and then you can deduct it. Otherwise, you got to wait till you know between 2018 and 2025. You just you just uh, SOL. So that's why I'm always harping on these scams on this channel. That's why I'm always harping on you know ways to save your your pass raises. That's why I have a link for you for that Shield Folio or Stone Book where you can store it. Uh, I just ordered my second one, so I'm waiting for that because I got to back everything up. Anyhow, uh, I know it's a bummer of an answer, but it is the truthful answer, and uh, hopefully it answers everybody's question. All right, let's jump back. All right, so that's it. So I hope that answers some questions. Hopefully you can take some information on that and learn from someone else's mistakes. You, can, you have to learn from mistakes. They just don't have to be yours. And I'm going to link uh, that final video about how I'm not going to pay any crypto taxes because I refuse to do it, and um, you decide for yourself. But uh, that's it. So thanks for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like these types of videos, it's going to be two months going to pop up, left and right. I'll put one of those over there, and YouTube's got to control the other one, so I don't deal with that. And uh, that is all. Also, I'll be on uh, Alex Maschioli's show in about 30 minutes, and we're going to be talking to the CEO of BlockFi. So uh, hopefully I can answer some, ask, get him some good questions in, because I know a lot of people have been saying that I need to check it out. So I thought, hey, what a better time to check it out than <laughs> talking to the CEO. All right, so that's it. Thanks so much, and I'll see you on the next one.